Hey everybody, it's me, Jill, from Creating With Love. Check us out. There's links below, Instagram and Facebook um, and YouTube. I've got up to 120 subscribers on YouTube. Thank you very, very much. Um, I was thinking of um, a Valentine's project I can do, and I couldn't get to filming this because I've been under the weather for about two weeks. So today I'm going to try to film this. Um, this is just foam, foam hearts, and I got them out of the um, out of the Michael's grab bags. All these hearts, and I only paid four dollars for a bag full of hearts. And this is what it looks like on the outside, on the back part of it. it says thankful here, and there's a heart, and I um, got a Sizzix. Uh, sidekick and I made a little flower and these are all paint marks so um, hopefully you'll enjoy this this is a bow I learned how to make over the holiday weekend um, I put two hearts together to make a pouch so that your child can take this preferably a girl um, can take this and put their little um, Valentine's card that they, you know, pass out on Valentine's Day in their classes. They can bring those home in this. this. So I kind of made some kind of handle and some little, I used pony beads to make, you know, just a little swing tail. And all these little other, um, all these other hearts I got at, um, I think it was a clearance sale and this is a project life card that I just cut out so uh, this is a long project this is another this this part I decoupaged over the glitter because it kept shedding and shedding and shedding and I wasn't about to send a child to school with this this is for one of my granddaughters, and I'm going to make the next one for my other granddaughter. Um, this one nece isn't necessarily as good as the other one is going to be because I'm going to be using... Um, I don't like the yarn because it's getting really dirty all of a sudden. And I'm going to be using shoelaces. So we'll see how that goes. So guys, here's my other little kit I put together. I got to plug in my glue gun because we're going to have to use that. And I'm going to take out all the pieces we're going to be needing. Hopefully I'll remember to use them all. Here's the uh, 45 inch shoelaces I want to use. My cat got to it, one of them, so it's a little bit frayed, but that's okay. I'm going to use it anyway. Here's the Project Life cards. One has a little heart, and the other one has the XO I'm gonna use. So, okay, so I decoupaged these already. I put, um, I put a thin layer of this on these already so that we don't have to uh, deal with doing that right now. And here's another one that will sit on the back of it. Isn't that pretty how it shimmers? So these two are going to, oops, wait. So I decided I want to do, I got these hearts and they're really pretty. They're like doilies. So I decided I wanted to kind of um, put a pink heart On the red heart we're going to use this for an example so the way the back is going to be white <sighs> kind of dirty but the back is going to be white and the front's going to be pink and then I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this one um so anyways this stuff is in the way hopefully this works because I did not test the length of this. 
So anyways, we're going to hold them together. We're going to we're going to kind of mark where we're going to start the weaving. So I have two equal parts that I'm going to start at right here. So I'm going to bring my you see how it's woven through this is going to be thicker so I'm going to bring this so that when I put the pony beads on we'll have a tail there so now we're going to knot right here Pull it tight, and we're going to knot it again. <coughs> Sorry, that was part of why I was sick and why I couldn't do anything. I would cough. Um, so that's going to hang to the side with little beads on it. Can you picture it? So, okay. So now we're going to weave. So we're making a pouch. I don't know. I'm stop. We're making a pouch and we're just going to weave. And I'm not a sewer. I just weave. <laughs> um, I had this made over a month ago I believe because I was trying to come up with a project and I came up with that and then I heard some other lady on her channel say oh she was going to put two hearts together and make some kind of pouch out of it and I'm like oh my god I already did that so um a lot of people are getting hit with this idea that's all right so I'm actually going to take each These, these guys' little holes are hearts, so I'm actually going to weave twice through each hole so that we can um, we can have that. See what I mean? We can have that. I guess uh, the angle of the can the camera is not good, maybe, but. Um, I'm going to keep going. I've been playing with the camera all afternoon, getting frustrated with it. Um, so, okay. See how we're going? I'm going to get to the other side, and then I'll show you how I'm going to leave a little tail. I'm going to put you on hold for now. But let me do one more hole, and then I'll put you on hold. And I'll go the rest of the way. I'm showing you how. Okay. It's much easier to do this with um, shoelaces. And where I got them from was my mother. <laughs> she went to her uh, senior center. And the people at the senior center were... See what I'm doing? They were... Um, throwing away a lot of stuff and she grabbed the shoelaces and I'm like what am I going to do with those well I figured it out okay hold on okay so now we're at the end see how that is that's kind of it's kind of all uh, woven in makes a little pouch as you can see it makes a pouch very dirty one because there's glitter and kitty hair inside. Urgh. Okay. So, okay, I gotta go one more hole and I gotta go up here and then I'm gonna end it off. But we're, I'm going to end the weaving. <coughs> excuse me. Chew, excuse me, people. Ooh, sorry. I did not expect to sneeze, but if I were filming this 
last week it would not have been pretty. I would be coughing and sneezing and falling asleep on you. And it wasn't, uh, it wasn't the flu. It was, see how I did that? Okay, wait a minute. It was a bad sinus infection, which was a virus at first, so. Um, okay. So I went through this once, and now what I'm going to do is how to end it. I'm going to pick this part up. I'm showing. I'm going to loosen this part a little bit. See that? That's the last loop. So what I want to do is fish the tail through the loop and fish it through this way. So then we're going to have a knot. And the knot will be secure because I'm going to use a little bit of hot glue to just secure it. There you go. The knot is secure. So I got to put you on hold of it. All right. So I had someone who knew I was going to record come down anyway. So don't worry about this long tail. We can either make a handle out of it, which I don't think so. I think we'll take care of it after we put the pony beads on. So anyways, here's our model. So now, what I did was folded this part of the heart down. And I hot glued it. Press it down till it tacks. There you go. Now you see how this heart is right here? That's what this one's for. We're just going to put it here. and put it on. With some more hot glue. So I'm gonna put hot glue on one section at a time because it tends to dry up quick. What is going on with my glue gun? It don't want to work. You notice how the Mod Podge took care of all of the shedding. I like that. So lift it up. It's not, this is kind of like an maybe 45 minute project. If you know what you're doing. <laughs> I didn't know what I was doing when I made this. So it took me a long time to get it done. So now I'm going to turn it over and we're going to use this for the back and I'm going to make sure that my white border stands out. But when you do turn it over, you're going to see pink hearts. You're going to see the pink through the white right there. I like the contrast and colors. So. 
I'm going to lift the bottom of the heart up. Press it down into the glue. Not bad, huh, guys? I had to put a thinking cap on for a few weeks. I don't know. Kitty hair likes to stick to this foam really, really a lot. A real lot. So, blame. Boom, boom, boom. Ah. Still sniffling, guys. Sorry. Can't control my body. <laughs> well, I can. Okay. Now we're going to just keep putting glue where it needs to be put on the heart and press down. Wipe away the excess, it's fine. Don't worry about the excess at all, okay? Okay, I need to stop being nervous again. I'm trying to hurry up because I don't want to be interrupted again. So, I just need to chill out. Okay, so that part is put together. Now what I'm going to do is for the handle, I'm going to take a smaller piece. Where did it go? Hold on. All right, so this is a 20 inch, a 20 inch piece of um, lace, shoelace. So we're going to just go through this top button, or this top hole. And if I show you, you just go through this hole right here where it connects. I actually want to come through the back. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you. See right right there is where I'm gonna come through. And then come through this. And we're going to get our tassel. So now, wait a minute. I'm trying to do the handle. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. We're going to come in, in through the back, which I can do. I can find it. Get into that hole and into the hole in front of it. See what I'm doing? Oh, no, you don't. Okay, see how it's coming through all the holes? And pull. So I think we're going to be using this one, this one, for our little tassel, our tassels. And we're going to tie, look, one, don't just go around once, go around twice because this tightens the knot. Wipe a little glue on the knot, make sure it hardens. Now for this knot, we're going to cut off this tassel. 
a little glue on the end so it doesn't fray and come apart because that's where we waved it, right? Kind of press it right there. Wait for it to cool so it could just hold. Now, the handle is about, I'm going to make sure these tassels are even, so we're going to pull and the handle will be a little bit shorter than expected, but don't worry about it. So now we're going to tie, let me show you, we're tying, making, okay, okay, we're going to take it and cross it and go over twice, see what I did, pulling it tight, make sure you go to the side, hopefully it does. Okay, do it again. One, two, and pull. Now, I forgot to show you to put the glue inside the knot. Put the glue inside the knot. There you go. So that's our new tassel. Let me go. This glue just sticks to my hands, but that's all right. Okay, so this one, this knot over here, needs to be cut. And we're gonna glue the end of the knot so it doesn't come undone. And we're gonna bring this over and kind of like try to glue them together, which is what I did with the other one. It's gonna look kind of funny until you get your tassel, until you get your beads on, your pony beads. Which I chose colors of pink, white, dark pink, and red. So we'll see when we do, when we get to the end. Okay. So now you have, these tails are no good. I'm going to put them in the envelope, which they came out of. So I don't get confused. So you have a little handle like that. And I don't know. Do, 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 do. Okay. So here you have the makings of a small little, a tiny, um, a cute little thing that your daughter or granddaughter can bring to school to collect all her little Valentine cards that she collects in her class. So now I have a Project Life card that my mother found a bunch of them, a bunch of kits. At Project Life, at um, a thrift store up in where she lives, so she got me a bunch of kits. So every now and then I go through them and I see what I can get out of them. So I have these shaped scissors from Fiskars. They don't, they're not too sharp, but they help me. Um. And what I want to do is just go around the frame of the X and the O so I can have that pink border, but I want it scalloped. Keeping it as straight as you can. Just cut. Keep going. And 
voila, you got your little thing there. Your little thing that's going to go across here. Your XO and your XO. I usually always say that to people on Facebook. So that's my, this is my signature. All right, so I have a little guest sitting and watching. She's right here, my tortie, my little baby I found crying and screaming when her eyes were still closed. So, okay, see how I had all that stuff together there? I am going to put a line across here a double line of glue, hot glue, and I'm going to place this at an angle that's my base for decorating. Got a lot, a lot of um, traffic today. So I'm going to put a heart down there. These are heart foam stickers that I got really cheap. I forgot where now. Um, I know I had a haul video. I don't know if I put it up. I can go there. And then this can go in the middle of this heart. These stickers are sticky, but I kind of want to uh, add glue to keep them on there. This corner doesn't want to stay, so we're going to put a little bit of glue there and tack it. And voila, it's staying. And then I'm going to have to do it through here because it doesn't want to stay. It just wants to separate. And that's okay because these are very thin foam. So, and it'll help stabilize this piece. Now I have a bow that I want to put up here. I learned how to make these bows I went on to Google and I typed in free paper bow stencils or free paper bow templates and I printed them out no and I printed them out and then I made templates out of that out of cardboard because I traced them so I have a few bows ready and then I glued the few bows that I like. I made this one out of, um, this is actually Nativity Christmas paper. Um, the faith paper I found at Joann's. So now we're going to turn it over. And we have the big pink heart there. So we're going to turn this one over, and we need a little pink heart here. So hold on. So um, I tried a, a, this pink one up to this one, and it washed out. So I'm going to put a red one on. How's that, pretty? All right, so we're going to put a red one on there. No, <laughs> no, it's not a toy. It's tantalizing, but it's not a toy. So I'm actually going to start gluing from the middle out. Because I want to make sure that it just all glues. Pressing it down gently. I 
on each side when you lift it up. You can see what I'm doing. Just making a line of glue. I should keep it. Yep. So there you go. Isn't that cute? That's adorable. <laughs> so now I have some more hearts. Hi, little girl. I have some more hearts that I want to put on the back like this. So, okay. I have, let's see. I don't want to put baked with love. So what this heart said was Valentine's Day. XOXOXO. So I'm just going to, um, let's see. Get it. This is thinner. So I'm going to put a heart with hearts on it. And then this one is going to say baked with love. But um, there's nothing that I baked in here. So I'm going to put the flower over it. Okay. I actually want to use the DACA flower. Huh. That's a little too big, I guess. Let me see. I sorry, guys. Whoops. Ugh. One's stuck way in here and I want to get it. It's a bigger heart. Okay, so here's here's the bigger heart I'm <laughs> I'm gonna use. Okay. And then I may does that look washed out? Nope, I think that looks cool. And then we're going to put the flower on it. How's that, guys? Okay. I think that'll look pretty cool. Now, remember I said these guys are very sticky. But they're not going to stick on, stick on the glitter for too long. So we're going to disassemble. Take, ah, ah, ah. Good girl. We're going to glue the back, put some glue in a V, and put it like that at an angle. Take our other heart, peel the back, and they're pretty sticky, but not sticky enough for the glitter. Okay, these hearts were decoupage, so I'm not worried about it. You hear that? That's noise. That's Freak fine. out. And now we're going to put our heart, our flower that I made from my Sizzix, right on top of this heart. So your little granddaughter or your daughter will have the cute, a cute little pouch. But we're not done. I think I want to put another flower on this side, too. Because this one has some stark white to it, and I like that. And it's nice contrast. So, we're not done with this, guys. i got to get out the things I'm going to be using next. All right. So, I found me a little cake plate. And we're going to put some paint, some Nicole's Craft Studio Red. We're going to put it onto the plate. And I got to see, I got to turn it around again. And let me see. I don't know. If I'm going to do red around here, I think I'm just going to do white and white. But I'll show you how to dot it. But we're going to do red around this. And then I think red in the front. And white on the dark pink. Like that. Okay, 
I'll show you how we're going to dot it. You dot it with the red first. All I'm going to use is the end. I have a couple of foam brushes and we're going to use the end of the foam brush, not this part. Okay. And I'm going to show you where I'm going to dot it. We're going to go that, that, and just keep doing this at the top of each heart where it goes down into the B. And then we're going to go in between the hearts. That almost didn't want to let me do that. So you're just going to carefully just dot each in between each heart. And there you have your little dots. It kind of looks weird by right now, but we will go in between. No touch, please. Thank you. My kitty wants to play with the string. She's sitting here watching me craft. Anybody else's animals do that to you? She wants to sit under my light because there she goes. It's warm. I don't know if I like this red dotting. We'll see. Okay. I don't know if I like that, guys. I'm very, very picky. We'll see at the end. Okay. And I'm not sure. Oh, stop with the hairs. Holy moly. I'm going to get the white out. I might. I don't know. <laughs> it has to be red because it's on the white. So I'm going to put the white. Right there, you saw what I did. And... I'm going to go around the little heart now. Ooh, that looks a lot better there. And I'm going to put dots all the way around this little lighter pink heart. wherever I can because sometimes there's going to be another piece of embellishment in your way not allowing you to put that little dot there which is okay I'm trying to make it so that you can see what I'm doing whoops Oops, I just got paint on me, which I don't care right about now. I just, let me see. My son is up there gaming, and he's loud. <laughs> but that's okay. He's recording for his channel. Which it's happy trigger finger. 
We could change this name though to Stady. Oh my goodness, I'm getting paint all over my fingers and I don't want to smear it on the project. Yeehaw. And every now and again, I take a peek at the other project that I did so that I can follow it. And remember, if you copy someone, um, it is a great compliment, but be sure to give them some credit. I heard someone ranting on YouTube about that, that this person wasn't given credit and they were quite upset. Um, so this one, I don't know if anybody else did it, this project, but I'm doing it. And if you have done this before me, then kudos to you. You get credit. I don't, I never saw this before. I just thought, I thought and thought, what can I do? I was trying to make actual, actually I was trying to make envelopes for little girls and maybe, you know, little boys to be able to bring home from school um, that would look really nice with their cards in it. And um, I looked at all of my foam hearts and I said, well, I bet you I can make a pouch out of that. So. That's the front. Now I'm going to stay with the white. And I'm going to do the back. Okay. But I have to wait till it dries. See you in a bit. Hold on. So I'm going to try to carefully dot this whole thing. Without smudging the other side. So we're going to make dots on the red heart first. Sometimes when you dab into your first dot of ink, make sure you dab it again because you could have excess on it. And you'll get a rounder circle if you do that. If you want dots. I mean, you could try to make stitch lines, but I didn't want stitch lines on this. I kind of wanted the dots to make it a little more feminine. Whoop. Yes, I have to. Let me get this over here so that you see me and what I'm doing. Sometimes I can double dot it, but it doesn't. It did. That one didn't work out. Okay. And when you're not getting perfect little circles, it might mean that your paint is globbing up on the end. So you might have to clean it off or your paint is drying off. Okay, I know it's upside down, but it's the only way I can hold it without smearing more red paint all over the place. So I'm going to do the outside and I'm going to come back and show you what it looks like. Then we'll do the pony beads when it dries. Okay, so that is done. All of that dotting. Isn't that kind of cute? So that's the back. 
and that's the front. I'm thinking of putting little tiny white dots inside these. I don't know yet. Gotta let it dry. So anyways, um, can't put it down really. Okay. Okay, almost. So we're gonna do the pony beads. And I think I counted that I wanna do eight. So I'm gonna get one of each color. One, two, three, four. So there's four. I'm not sure if, so one, two, three, four. I think we're going to have to do 10 pony beads. Yeah. So one, two, three. Wait a minute. What am I doing? So I'm going to do, let's see. Well, something striking on each end. So, okay. So now, because you're not using yarn, you can thread them through. <sighs> These pony beads have a quite a wide thing, but if you're using yarn, it's a pain. So then got the white, red, white, light pink and deep purple. Then we're going to go red, white, light pink, and deep purple. So, okay, let's get another white and a pink. So how that went was red, need red, red, white, dark pink, ah, what did I do? Pink, so, okay, so we got 12 on there. So now that's going to hang down like that. So we're just going to tie the ends off. I'm going to tie them twice. So it make a nice knot so that the pony beads won't slip off over the, night, uh, the knot. And then we're just going to leave the end tassel as it is. Okay, so there's one side. There's one side. Now we gotta do the other 12 beads. We're gonna go red, white, pink. And dark pink and then we're gonna go the same pattern three times and we gotta go red what did I just do that was supposed to be okay red white light pink dark pink figures be quiet then we're gonna go red, white. All this while this is drying. Pink, light pink. And dark pink. Oop. 
So we're going to go red again, white, pink, and dark pink. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, even. The last one I didn't put as many on because I wasn't feeling well. I was trying to come up with that when I wasn't feeling well. So we're going to knot it and then knot it again. Oh my, all right, there's people talking in the background. That's what I'm trying to keep quiet, but they don't want to be quiet. So there you go. Here is your little pouch. Here's the back. Here's the back with your little dangle beads. And there is the front. I want to doctor the front. I'm thinking of putting this one on the inside, one of these red ones, so that it could look a little bit better. Um, let's see. Yeah. I don't know. What do you think? Nah. Nah. Maybe? I don't know. I think that could look cute. But anyways, um, maybe I shouldn't have used the white. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I know that I got to put the little, the little um, dots there. And if you liked this project, if it helped you think of what you can do for your children then I'm happy for that. So push the like button or hit the thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe, please. I'm looking for more subscribers. And hit the bell if you want more notifications for more videos that I will be posting. Um, thank you. Have a wonderful night. Thank you for watching. And thank you for liking the crafting. And come over and join us on fa Facebook and Instagram, same names, um, Creating with Love Crafting. And God bless each and every one of you. And have a great night. Keep creating with love.